Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, hello. I hope you're having a good year, you Aquarians. Thank you for being here. This is a general reading for the first quarter for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. All right, Aquarians, let's see what is coming up for you, Aquarians. So, um, I want to say thank you for um, and, um, returning to my channel. Thank you so much. And thank you for um, the support, likes, and shares, okay? So, Aquarians, um, this year begins with uh, the first month for you guys is justice, okay? So, whatever is happening and transpiring, you Aquarians has justice. Now, remember that this quartal, the quartal is based on the energy of uh, the hermit, uh, the hangman, and the empress. So, I see um, that with justice, uh, something is going to be coming out. Whatever legal issues that you're having, you Aquarians, something is going to be coming out. And um, in the month of uh, February, I see you have inner strength because you're going with, within to find out something. Okay, so that is what is really transpiring with the first few months. Then I see in the month of March, you Aquarians are going to be receiving something because I see um, the energy of uh, the Capricorn is there. Now, I don't know because sometimes they show it, sometimes they don't. Okay, so trying to figure out a way to show you. So as you see, in the month of January, Aquarians, you're dealing with a legal issue or a situation that needs to be balanced out, okay? Whatever the situation is and however way it comes up in your life as an Aquarian, truth, the light is going to be shed on it. So some, uh, some whatever that was being uh, hidden, the light is going to be shed on it. So there was a lot of situation that was uh, transpiring and however way it's coming up, light is going to be shed on a situation, an issue. And with this light shed on the issue in the month of January, I see you going in the month of February where you're going within because whatever light that was shed on the situation, I see you finding in a strength to go within and think, oh my, OMG, OMG, what is this? What has transpired? Oh my God. How am I going to deal with this? Okay. So this is what is transpiring in the month of February. So you have a fire sign. January is going to be good. And it depends on what follow January going into February. But what we're seeing here happening is that you're going in introspect, finding in the strength, looking at what has happened, looking at yourself and trying to figure out how you are going to get out of the situation or end the situation. And there is definitely going to be an ending because I see a mother figure because the general energy and go back and listen to the general energy because the general energy connects with your energy. The mother figure of the Empress, the energy of Venus, the mother of love, the nature comes in and she's going to be ending a cycle. She's definitely going to be ending the cycle because I see um, this, um, the Empress is the energy of the mother figure. And whoever this mother figure is and the energy of the Empress, that is uh, the mother of uh, materialistic uh, world that is going to come in. That is Venus. The mother of Venus is going to be coming in to align you with the right energy to end a cycle in your life. And this is going to be good. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, it was wonderful because what we're seeing now is that a cycle is definitely going to be ending in your life. A situation that has been transpiring in a month of March is going to be ended in your life. So whether it was a conflict, whatever it was, it's going to be ending in your life. So let's look at January going in February. We have the six of ones. So whatever the issue and the situation is, we have the energy of the six of ones because whatever that was happening and transpiring, light has shed on a situation. And now I see you're going to be coming out of this situation because light is shed on this situation. Whatever the information is, we're going to be looking to see what information, because remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a general reading. So check out the extended reading. Light is going to be shedding on and, and, and a situation. And with that, 
light shedding on a situation i see that definitely you're going to find inner strength to deal with it we see the energy of the page of coin in the reverse so i see that some of you might have to be paying back a capricorn some money okay definitely a capricorn um definitely paying back some money you um aquarian so whatever as transpire i see you have to go in and think oh my god i gotta pay back all of that yes because whatever that was hiding i see you um have to pay um pay back or some of you could be receiving but some of you could be paying back okay some money in the month of march so whatever it is i see some of you could be receiving money or some of you could be paying back money some of you could be receiving um but it's as positive so it, it's more on the receiving and that is coming up i see the six of cups and it has to do with family issue and situation so whatever that was transpiring i see you're dealing with family issues and situation now whatever that is happening and transpiring with these family issues and situation whatever the, the situation that has been transpiring in your world and happening i see that you are going to be ending these situation and coming out of these situation and this quarter for you aquarians is all about fa family and friends Whatever is transpiring, this quarter is about family and friends. Whatever the issue and the situation is, it's about family and friends. Okay, this is what is affecting some of you. Family and friends, whatever the issues that you're dealing with, it's going to be affecting you via family and friends. So we're definitely going to be looking and seeing what is a uh, um what is going to be the effect coming out uh, in um january okay because i the energy of justice is here it's an air energy so we're definitely going to be going within to find out what is happening in the month of january for you guys and i see you have no regrets whatever the issue the situation is i see you have absolutely no regret whatever that was transpiring whatever that was happening you have no regrets with a legal issue you have absolutely no regrets or is it a conflict that was going on you have no regrets some of you was having a conflicts or um or a, a, a conflicts between you and a scorpion okay and it becomes in a legal situation and you're looking as it i i have no regrets okay um definitely opportunities is going to come up i see some of you trying to figure out and finding opportunities so some of you that is without work or maybe you want a second job i see you going within trying to figure out and trying to find inner strength to find a second um incomes and it's going to be working whether it's a second incomes but it's more like incomes it's uh, because it's um some of you is stemming from emotional situation with friendships okay so you could have had a conflict from um january december coming in this year and you are finding in a strength to deal with this conflicts as we look at the month of march i see okay aquarians so what is happening for you aquarians um um is that there is conflicts okay conflicts between you and other people and the conflicts is with you and a Leo. See the energy of you and a Leo. That's where the conflicts is. And I see that a scorpion have created some conflicts. Okay. It can be conflicts for some of you. It could be legal issues for some of you. But whatever the conflicts is that is coming up, I see that you want to end this conflicts. You want to get out of this conflicts. You want to move forward in your life with this, uh, out of this conflicts because you have some regrets, okay? I see love is coming in in the month of March. I see a lot of offers. If you're looking for love, it is going to be good in February, March because the month of February is um, Valentine's and I see a lot of love is coming in. I see there is a young person between the ages of 18 and 45 wants a new start and it is a cancer i see a cancer a cancer um wants a new start with you now whoever this cancer is i see they want to offer you financial stability but they also want to offer you love so um for some of you it's a cancer but for some of you and this person whoever this person is is as if you have known them in past lifetime you have reconnect with them in this lifetime and I see that this person 
really cares about you and really wants to connect with you so whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring in their life I see you reconnecting with this person February March and if you are looking for love ladies and gentlemen I see love coming up in February March coming in for you because I see in March a lot of you are going to be connecting with someone so love is coming in I see positive alignment of energy I see um, situation that you were dealing with emotional situations is going to be balancing out because there's a cycle that is ending I see a new cycle that is beginning for people um, who were in relationship with other people okay all right so I see some good news is going to be coming in about your work I see um, um, extra money um, extra way of making money I see um, if you are looking for an extra job um, it's going to be happening in February so this is going to be wonderful it's going to be wonderful it's going to be really positive and whatever is transpiring especially when it comes on to your work and um, um, situation at your work this is looking really really good this is going to be very positive this is going to be paying out a lot to you all right so um, work is looking good for you guys in this third quarter love is looking good for you and I see um, your numbers is going to be 66 66 whatever is happening and transpiring number 66 and it's not a bad number it's all about your materialistic stability because of course you just came through the time of Christmas and a lot of you have spent a lot of money I see um, some of you could be connecting with the right people um, to work with okay mm yeah some of you could be connecting with the right people to work with I see some of you um, who are starting new jobs in this um, quarter is that you're going to be connecting with people that you feel as if they're family and I see you really working together and making something good for humanity so whatever that was happening and transpiring in your world I see you are going to be healing um, situation let's say that you and your family you know you came you, you came in a, a couple in where um, there was yeah you you're gonna be working this out whatever that was happening between you and your family members you're definitely definitely going to be working this out so this is wonderful and beautiful because what what, what is happening and transpiring is that I see a lot of emotions you guys are dealing with a lot of emotion in the first quarter but um the emotions that you're dealing with in the first quarter basically it is just to balance out certain aspects and certain issues okay so not to worry about that so let's see what other messages coming up about this um not having any regrets um you're having a conflict not having any regrets with a legal issue for you aquarians so all right so i see some of you aquarians you're not having any regret um, the end of work I see they have to pay you there's a lot of conflicts there could be a lot of conflicts in your home but there could be also a lot of conflicts on the work floor a lot of conflicts with a situation needs to be balanced out okay so however that is coming in I'm seeing a lot of conflicts it could be over um, the conflicts could be about a house the conflicts could be about some deceptive situation on the work floor I see long-term stability is coming up here for you guys and um, wherever you're working I see long-term stability for some of you coming up I see long-term stability with a relationship that you're in if you're now in a relationship or you're about to um, meet someone whoever is coming in your life you are going to be having long-term stability with this person and especially if this person is a cancer there's definitely going to be this relationship is going to be lasted sorry guys for a long time I see a new um, a new um, offer is coming in I see new invitations for work so if some of you were looking for work sorry guys and you have applied for work I see this is gonna be happening for you and sorry I'm getting flu again and this is going to be happening for you because whatever is transpire and and wherever um 
things were array I see like for work I see people are going to be opening up people wants you to come and work for them um, I see news and remember a six of ones is a positive news that is coming in about work six of cups is positive news that whatever issues you and your friends are having or yeah offense or people in your environment you're going to be um, balancing this out and this is good I see an offer coming in whatever this offer is this offer is a positive offer that is coming in some good news with an offer is coming in an invitation and I see that money is also going to be coming to you I see that also money is going to be coming to you so what you're going to be dealing with is house issue um, it could be that some of you divorced and you got the house and you're like you know I'm I'm happy that that happened I see long-term stability in relationships that is coming in if you are in a relationship and you're with a cancer it's gonna be long term I see that some of you a cancer is offering you love I see love is coming up for the people who are looking for love February is going to be good and some of you are going to be meeting someone in February that you're going to be connecting up in March okay so let's see what other message forgiveness is here I acknowledge that Auburn resentment blocks the flow of love I accept that order and resentment block the flow of love so whatever that was happening whatever that situation that was transpiring in your life you need to let go forgiveness is the key um whatever the conflicts was let go forgiveness is the key whatever the issue was let go forgiveness is the key okay and we need to forgive others you guys are also having red and um orange purple um, it's all about orange and purple it's all about the healing the healing of the soul smoothing out who you are as a person and accepting who you are working with your inner feelings your inner strength and this is going to be good then the other message that we have for you Aquarians is uh, the magical prize so, and what is here and what is transpiring is that um help me to accept that which I can't change okay so you Aquarians need to say this magical prior help me to access that which I can't change you need to um, find the magical prior you can go on the internet and type in magical prior because it's all about accepting things that you can't change and this is what I see you Aquarians are going to be doing just accepting the things that you can't change and as you do that you're going to be understanding how to um, vibrate and how to accept and change your ways change the way you think and the way you bring positive energy in your life in this year so this first quarter is going to be helping you to bring forgiveness in your heart but also bring the magical priors within you and then you are going to be able to balance out issues and situations around you okay and the last energy I have which I so love I so love the wisdom of the Eden room I so love the wisdom of the Eden room the Queen of light illumination um, enlightenment and celebration illumination enlightenment and celebration so I see that some of you Aquarians have been going through issues situation things and that sort of a thing in your life and what is happening and transpiring is that now you're accepting now you're seeing now you're enlightening yourself because forgiveness is the first key when we begin to go towards enlightenment in our lives forgiveness is the first key if we can't forgive ourselves and forgive others there is no way we can understand the light within our souls and the love within our art because we can't we won't be able 
to help others okay so forgiveness is the first key forgiving people and and by that it's going to be illuminating you and enlightening you and help you to celebrate who you are as that spiritual beam on this planet and this is what 2020 is all about so you Aquarians are on the right part you're moving forward it is good go for it Aquarians I love you go check out your extended reading remember that this reading is timeless so whenever you receive the this reading is the right time Whatever is transpiring in your world, know that this first quarter is going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, don't let anyone t take you off your part because uh, you love work and um, whatever the conflicts that is going on in an institute or organization, this is going to be ended because you are bringing it to a hand. I love you guys. Um, um, for the extended reading, you have to use the link here, link there. Um, notification button um, join and subscribe and you have to um, be a member of the channel and use the super chat extended in order to access the on demand the extending deal of this reading I love you guys I want to say namaste until next time mm -hmm.